Yo, this bloodline story is really getting crazy. And my opinion, this is what the WWE needs. And it can get real spicy, and it is going to get real spicy. Let me break it down to you and give you guys my intake of what I think is going to happen with the bloodline when Roman Reigns comes back to either SmackDown or Raw, wherever they're going to be at. Now, this is a lot of things can happen for one. Like it's it's so much of a spinoff they can do with this. It is it's, it's ridiculous. And I cannot wait to see what happens, man. And for, for those who continue to want to talk about Vince McMahon and just remember who created the bloodline. Just remember who, you know, helped push the bloodline. Just remember who helped give you guys Roman reigns. You know what I'm saying? So for those people that want to continue to shit on Vincent, man, I can't wait till he comes back. And that's going to be in the next video. Well, maybe not the next one, but in the video up to coming. So let's talk about this, man. Lately, we uh, we seen some changes go on to the bloodline. We've we seen a new member come to the bloodline. And um, I don't think that's it. We have uh, Tama Tonga, who came to the bloodline, debuted it, looked like a vicious human be being. Um, as far as his persona and as far as how he's carrying himself, it, it seems like he he's he's more vicious than Solo was trying to be like, you know. It, that's what Tama Tonga is to me. It seems like he's what Solo was to the bloodline. Now it seems like Solo has just took over the bloodline. Like nothing was given to him yet. As we could just, as we just seen on SmackDown, you know, Paul Heyman was telling Solo Sokoa that, you know, this is not your bloodline just yet. Not, not yet. You know what I'm saying? You still, you know, we still got some things to do, but it's not your bloodline just yet. Solo Sokoa looks like he wants to take over the bloodline right now which basically he already done uh we seen different instances that point out the fact that he's pissed with roman we seen him stump paul Heyman's phone uh that's the phone he normally called roman reigns on we seen him every time paul Heyman even try to bring up or say the tribal chief name like solo just changes, you know what I'm saying? He he goes into a rage. So he's definitely not lo looking to see Roman Reigns. And we have to remember Solo main thing who which started all this was losing. And he was like you got to pay for those consequences of losing. And they attack Jimmy Uso. All right, so who else lost? At WrestleMania, Roman Reigns. So I believe Roman Reigns will be attacked when he comes back to the bloodline or when he come back on show. Like he will be, I feel he will be attacked by the bloodline. And I feel like down the road somewhere, Jay will end up finding himself back with the bloodline but this bloodline is going to be the babyface bloodline there's going to be two sets of bloodlines and almost like the nwo you had the nwo black and white and you had the the nwo red and black and the red and black which was the wolf pack represented the the babyface nwo and then you had the black and white which they had their heel persona so Roman Reigns was already liked by a lot of people anyway, even though, you know, you heard some boos here and there, but people love Roman Reigns. Everybody was throwing up the one soon as his music hit. You hear the fans was chanting, we want Roman when Solo Sokoa and Paul Heyman was in the ring this past SmackDown. So we see the, the pot turning and if WWE 
continues to, to allow the bloodline this creative freedom. Man, there's no telling what the hell we're going to see, see from the outcome of this. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's going to be something. It's definitely going to be wor uh, something worth watching. And to those who think that the bloodline is going to be destroyed and all this, like, y'all crazy. The bloodline is pulverizing. The bloodline probably will go down as one of the biggest groups other than NWO. I, I cannot put in, I mean, you know, you got DX, but I just don't put DX as one of those. Well, I, I, I can because they definitely was a transcending type group. But NWO was just powerful. DX was powerful too. I, I can't, I can't, I can't knock them, but they wasn't on NWO type level because of the members and the things they were doing, the stories that they were telling. It was just endless for the NWO. They always had something going on. They had their own shows, you know what I'm saying? And, and on pay-per-views and stuff like that. NWO was on a whole nother level. Bloodline is on a, is on that type level. You know what I'm saying? And that's just because of what we're seeing and, and how the, the creative story is, is being told from this. Now, Jake, uh, Jacob Fatu, another member that uh, all uh, from, uh, well, a new member of the bloodline. He already said that he, that WWE has already signed him already. You know what I'm saying? He said that before WrestleMania 40. So we just kind of, I guess, waiting on his appearance whenever he going to make that happen. I think Jacob Fatu, is is gonna happen at backlash. It's gonna be it's definitely gonna be quick, but I feel like it's gonna happen at backlash. Backlash is where we're gonna see uh another member of the bloodline come in and we're not I don't know if we're gonna see Roman just yet, but I, I just predict that uh Jacob Fatu will definitely be making his appearance at backlash. So I don't wanna I'm just giving you guys what I think as a wrestling conversation this is nothing that i looked at i don't i don't look at spoilers i don't i just i avoid spoilers at all costs because that ruins wrestling but there's nothing wrong with 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 not knowing what's going on because i know a couple of people if you watch spoilers a couple of people they may look at uh the spoilers and be like well damn already what this gonna happen that's gonna happen like i've been telling people i don't want to hear that shit you know what i'm saying i want to just speculate because that's that is what wrestling is all about. That's is the old school type wrestling that I want to know. I don't want to know any spoilers or things that's about to happen. So I want to enjoy wrestling, and this is how I enjoy wrestling by speculating things that could happen. And if I don't happen, if it don't get what I want or whatever in that perspective, then it is what it is. But um, that's that's how I feel about the bloodline and the direction that they're going. WWE is going to continue to rely on bloodline to carry. The company. There's no other storyline right now that's going on that people really want to see. I mean, just going to be honest with you. There's nothing else going on right now in WWE that the fans want to see. You name it. You know, there's there's nothing. So the bloodline story is definitely the eye catcher and, and, and it's definitely going to keep people engaged and to see what goes on week after week with the bloodline and their newest members. And I'm ready to see them in action too. Jacob Fatu and Tama Ta um, Tonga is definitely a, a hit in the ring. If you haven't seen them yet, you know, pull them up on YouTube or whatever. Um, but they definitely uh, been, been doing their thing. And I've been watching them ever since I've been, um, ever since the rumor hit that, you know, other bloodline members possibly to come. I start researching these guys and start looking them up and seeing, you know, um, you know, start start looking at their matches and, and different things like that. Uh, Tonga was definitely he was he was the man in, in Japan. You know what I'm saying? And, and cross seas and stuff like that. So um, I can't wait to see these guys get in the ring, give us some different matches, some you know, just something different because you know WWE needs more talent right now and I'm, I'm just ready to see what these guys gonna do uh ready to see bloodline get all the gold because i think that's gonna happen soon again it's gonna be it's gonna be epic you guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about your predictions of the bloodline i'm gonna be keeping you guys up to um up to par about what goes on with the bloodline week to week every smackdown i'm gonna be giving you guys a video at least that saturday or sunday after i finish looking up 
you know, looking at what goes on with it and just determining what will happen next with this group, you guys. I'm up out of here. You guys be safe. Peace out.